Back at the National Weather Center, Josh strategizes with his Vortex crew. The topic of their meeting, radar. This year, we're going to have 10 different mobile radars. In fact, there's an 11th, which is going to be coming out for part of it. Um, Question. I was just wondering, as far as uh, chasers who are not affiliated with you, a lot of the private chasers who have their own radars and such, what kind of problems would that cause with your own radar data? Um, I'm only aware of one group, uh, just a private chaser type, who's going to have one radar out there. Um, we do have a particular concern about radars because they're radiating and they can potentially can interfere uh, with the DAOs. A rogue radar operating in the wrong frequency range could corrupt Vortex 2's vital storm data. And there's only one chaser out there with a competing radar project. A few weeks ago, Josh contacted us with concerns about our project. Reed, you know the community you're dealing with. I mean, it's strange. It won't tell us what you're doing. It won't give us confidence to not interfere. Yeah, and Josh, uh, it's not our intention to interfere with Vortex at all, and, and we won't. I guess you tell me the frequency and we probably can have to call resolved. There's just a number of us that are quite concerned. I think there's no reason for you to be paranoid about this because... Yeah, I think you want to work in the CDL community, you know, this season and beyond. Well, Josh, you don't have to threaten me with that to get the frequency. I'll, I'll work with you. Uh, you know, I don't want to do anything to shut down our project when we can very easily work around it and both, you know, accomplish our goals out there. I think if you could just email the frequency or frequency range, it should be easy to resolve. I don't think Reed is really committed to the hard scientific process. The most useful data is going to come from the integrated, massive effort that Vortex 2 is engaged in. Sean's been eager to join Vortex 2 since the season began, but he rolls into Josh's kickoff meeting 15 minutes late. We have an extraordinarily large fleet of vehicles. There are some sort of non-traditional groups here. Um, the TIV is going to be following us at some times, too. They're not formally with Vortex, but uh, they will be out there, I think, a lot of days near us. The TIV is not officially a part of Vortex 2. We're kind of like some little side experiment, you know? We're looked upon as maybe kind of hanger honors or freak show. Oh, one more question. Uh, just a little memo. We found this stray puppy. Um, it was orphaned uh, by the tornado. If anybody's interested, want to see pictures, come and see me. All right. See you all in a bit. So we'll see. You're going to get booted from the meeting if you do that again. Oops. Right in front of us is tearing trees out of the ground. Storm Chasers, Sundays at 10. It's all new on Discovery.